What's up, everybody? Swavington here. It's cold out. I am in New York City. I'm in Harlem. And uh, this video is about my new Purple Panda Lavalier mic. Right there. So hey folks, I am back inside. Uh, as I mentioned, it's cold outside. It's a Sunday. I'm here once again uh, in Harlem and I ran to the supermarket very quickly picked up a few items, uh, but I am happy to uh, finally have a lavalier mic. Uh, quite some time ago, I ordered a completely different brand for a completely different phone, um, and it didn't work and I had to send it back. Uh, so I have ordered this Purple Panda microphone uh, from Amazon.com, um, and the package includes several pieces. I'll share those with you. Uh, again, this is the Purple Panda Lavalier Microphone. It is supposed to work with Android devices and with iPhones uh, and with a few other devices as well. I'll share those with you as well. I should note that uh, right now I do not have the lavalier mic plugged in, so I am not using the Purple Panda microphone at this moment. In a bit, I'm going to uh, give an overview. I'm going to share the various components that came in the package. Um, and then I'll let you hear what it sounds like when I have the microphone uh, plugged into my smartphone and take it out, let you hear the difference. The Purple Panda microphone comes in this nice, soft, drawstring pouch. The microphone is a clip-on lavalier mic that comes with a 9.8 foot extension cord, a fuzzy windscreen, a mini USB adapter, a TRS adapter, and an extra clip. In addition to being compatible with iPhones and Android phones, the Purple Panda microphone is compatible with GoPro devices, DSLR cameras, camcorders, PCs and Macs, Tascam recorders, Zoom recorders, PS4 joysticks, and iPads. All right, everybody, it's Tuesday. I didn't have an opportunity the other day to complete the video, and so I'd like to do that today. I'm going to uh, plug in the Purple Panda microphone and let you hear what the audio in this video sounds like with the Purple Panda Lavalier mic on. And then I'm gonna take the microphone uh, out of the smartphone and then of course let you hear what the video sounds like or the audio sounds like on this video without the Purple Panda microphone. So here I go. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is me speaking with the Purple Panda microphone on. Testing one, two, three. This is me with the Purple Panda lavalier mic plugged into my smartphone. And now I'm going to unplug the Purple Panda microphone. This is me speaking uh, without the Purple Panda microphone plugged in. This is me speaking without the mic plugged in. 
Testing one, two, three. This is me speaking without the Purple Panda lavalier mic plugged in. So I've taken the mic out and this smartphone, the smartphone, by the way, that I am using uh, is a Samsung. Uh, more specifically, it's the Samsung J7, the 2018 version. So let me do this again. This is me speaking without the mic plugged in. Now I have plugged in. So I might also, let me also put this closer to my mouth. And this is me speaking with the Purple Panda microphone on. The Purple Panda microphone is plugged into the smartphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And now I've just taken out the Purple Panda microphone. Testing one, two, three. And this is me speaking without the lavalier mic plugged in. Hey folks, it is a couple of days later. I needed to slip an update into this video to let you know that what you just saw um, was uh, recordings done with me very close to the cell phone, something that I uh, often do when I'm recording video. I tend to be close to uh, the phone. And so what you just saw and some of the takes that I've done, some of the recordings that I've done uh, over the past a couple of days uh, testing out the sound quality of this mic have been done with me close to the, the uh, phone. Um, and in my opinion, uh, I must say that often, you know, I really noticed that even though there wasn't a huge difference, I liked the way my voice sounded uh, without the Purple Panda mic plugged into the phone. Having said that, I needed to update the video to reflect the fact that I've discovered that when I am uh, a few feet away from the phone, with the uh, that there is a difference. And when I have the Purple Panda microphone plugged in, in my opinion, there is um, a, there is a better sound. All right, now watch this. Check this out. I'm going to move this chair back here. This is me speaking without the Purple Panda microphone plugged into my smartphone. This is me speaking without my mic plugged into my phone. This is me speaking without the Purple Panda microphone plugged into my smartphone. This is me speaking with the Purple Panda microphone plugged into my lavalier. <laughs> no. This is me speaking with the Purple Panda <laughs> lavalier mic plugged into my smartphone, not plugged into my lavalier mic. This is my mic plugged into my smartphone. This is the Purple Panda microphone plugged into my smartphone. All right, let's try this again. I'm several feet away. This is me speaking without projecting my voice. I am not using the Purple Panda microphone. This is me without using the Purple Panda microphone. I am several feet away. I am not projecting my voice. This is me using the Purple Panda microphone. This is me using the Purple Panda microphone. The Purple Panda microphone is plugged in to my smartphone. Purple Panda microphone is not plugged in. It is not plugged in. The Purple Panda microphone is plugged in. The Purple Panda microphone is plugged in. Now I think what I'd like to do is to um, pause the video and then go get the extension. And with the extension cord plugged in, see if we hear uh, any difference in the quality uh, of the audio and more specifically whether we can hear any degradation, whether we can hear any static or crinkling static type noise. Um, and so let me do that.
Unfortunately, um, I was not able to get the extension cord to work. Uh, I tried it three different times um, and I hear a hissing sound, um, but I cannot hear me speaking. Um, so I made sure that the connection, excuse the siren, I made sure that the connection was secure. Uh, I unplugged it, plugged it back, and so forth. Uh, so I don't think it's that it wasn't connected correctly. The what I mean is the uh, lavalier mic, um, the connection to the extension cord seemed fine. So yeah, that's just sort of a, a an unfortunate. Uh, uh, thing that uh, the mic itself works, but the extension, the mic along with the extension cord does not. Um, it is what it is. And I went back and listened to the sound quality. Um, you know, with the mic on and off. And so when I record video and I'm closer to the smartphone, I believe that uh, my smartphone's internal mic sounds better than the Purple Panda mic. Uh, when I am further away, I do believe when I'm several feet away that the Purple Panda lavalier mic sounds a bit better than just the, using the internal mic. Uh, I was really hoping for a different uh, type of sound from the lavalier mic. And I was really hoping that the lavalier mic that I end up you know, using uh, not only uh, allows me to have a uh, louder volume, but also sort of a, a nice rich tone to uh, to the audio quality. Um, it's it's I, I'm going you know to keep trying it and using it, but uh, this uh, at least is a working mic. Again, once again, I purchased a different lavalier mic from a different company and I used a different, uh, using that with a different phone and I couldn't get it to work at all. This works. Uh, I'm not blown away, but uh, I, th I think it's, it's fine. Um, so that's that. Uh, you may draw your own conclusions from, well, you will draw your own conclusions. Uh, from from this video uh, after listening to watching and listening to um, uh, the video and um, seeing how it sounds hearing how it sounds with the mic on and off with all of that said thank you so much for watching that siren I constantly have sirens in the background but Anyway, have a wonderful day. Swavington, out.